If you're like me, you lie awake some nights thinking about all the terrible things that could possibly happen to your kids and how powerless we are sometimes to protect them. But there is a good reason uh, that I'm about to tell you this next story, even though it's going to hurt. Uh, I want you to take a good look at that picture. It's what a 14-year-old girl saw in the airplane lavatory of an American Airlines flight last fall. That is a sticker that says, seat broken. And peeking out from underneath it is an iPhone that's positioned there, allegedly by a male flight attendant on that flight, to record people, very young people, using the toilet. Here's what happened. The 14-year-old um, victim in this case was flying with her family from Charlotte to Boston, and she got up to use the restroom in the main cabin, which is what we do when we sit in the main cabin. But it was occupied, so as she stood there, a flight attendant said, hey, the bathroom in first class is open, and walked her there. How nice. But the weird thing was he went in first. He says, hang on, um, he needed to wash his hands. And then she went in after. Uh, and she doesn't spot that half-hidden iPhone with its lights on until after she's finished. But she does do something very, very smart. She takes a picture of it, and then she marches right back to her seat, and she shows it to the, her parents. Can imagine what happened then, right? Parents alert the crew. That's code for... All the holy hell broke loose. Um, but the flight attendant in question, who led her to the bathroom and had to wash his hands first before she could go in, somehow he was able to lock himself in the bathroom again for several minutes, presumably wiping his phone back to factory status. Because that's how the cops found it when they arrested him upon landing. So his name is Estes Carter Thompson III. He is now a former American Airlines flight attendant and current inmate facing very serious charges. FBI did a little digging in his iCloud account and said they found plenty of evidence of child porn and other child victims of the airplane bathroom camera business. And now he's federally charged with attempted sexual exploitation of a child and possessing child pornography. pornography. And the authorities say that some of the victims they found were as young as seven. Just let that sink in. Just a short time ago, I spoke with Paul Llewellyn because he is the attorney representing that 14-year-old girl and her family. By the way, um, I do want to tell you after. Your client was awfully young. I mean, by the reports, 14 years old, and yet she could single-handedly be responsible for stopping a, a child predator multi-times over. Um, first, does she know how significant... Um, her role was in, in helping others not to be victimized. And is she okay? Is she doing okay? Well, firstly, thank goodness she had the wherewithal to take that picture. As you rightly point out, without that picture, then this child predator may never have been, have been caught. As far as is she doing okay, you know, it's obviously had a devastating impact on her and her family. Um, the family are doing their best to protect their daughter. We may never know what happened to these pictures. For example, are they on the dark web? Is there a video out there on the dark web? So sadly, this will likely be hanging over her for the rest of her life. And just for logistics, um, the way I understand the story, and correct me if I'm wrong, she had the wherewithal right away to take that picture, go back to her seat, tell her parents what had transpired, and ultimately her father confronted this, this flight attendant who then locked himself in the uh, lavatory and presumably wiped the phone back to factory settings. Hopefully, if all of that is true, her photos don't exist anymore. But you're right. saying there's a possibility something happened in between that, that timeline? That's right. We don't know, of course, what the flight attendant was doing with the photos while he was locked in the bathroom, number one. We don't know if they was being live streamed, so there could be recordings of it out there as well. More importantly, the fact that the flight attendant was allowed to go back into the bathroom, this was a crime scene at this time. And so the, the fact that the phone was not immediately seized from the flight attendant to prevent him doing that very act, in my opinion, is shocking and yet another failing of American Airlines. What happened when this flight attendant um, took your client uh, from economy up to the first class bathroom? Before she went into the bathroom, he said, before you go in, I'm just going to wash my hands because I'm about to start trash collection service. Well, that's unusual. Why would you wash your hands before you start collecting trash? He then said, um, so he went in, came back a short time later, and he said, the toilet seat is broken, but don't worry, we will fix it when we land. 
So clearly, when he pretended to wash his hands, he was in there setting up the camera. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.